A neat trick. Saves you time. Saves me time. Oops. Let's do Everything you've faced up until now has been simple. You're about to face a real challenge in Sledge. Do not underestimate him. When the grizzly key is paced in the thumbprint scanner, the gate unlocks. Now you can enter Headstone Mine. It's time to take the fight to Sledge. Sledge for the Badlands. It's time to push the attack. Infiltrate Headstone Mine and kill Sledge. If you get the chance, grab that Iridian artifact of his. Uh, of his. As Dr. Zed put it, nobody wants another bandit to find it and start another bandit field crusade for the vault. If you manage to come out of this al fight alive, head on back to Zed and let him know what happened. We also gain a, um, um, class mod. There's some quests that actually uh, reward you based on your class. Uh, for instance, the this one. I'm pretty sure when it has like this symbol, it means it's a reward that is suitable for your class, and. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice because like sometimes you get some pretty crappy uh, rewards that are for everybody. Your machines and their scary needles. Where the hell did you come from? Feel it. Well. Oh. oh yes, he dropped it. Nice. I really was hoping he dropped his weapon. Give me that. How much damage does it do? Eh, not that good. Every kill I get increases my ability to use my ability. Also... Yeah, my weapons are doing garbage damage right now. I mean, they they can functionally kill. It's just badasses are kind of are crux right now. Tried to do a nice uh, trick shot. Thought I could open the gate. Ow. Don't you know shotguns and video games are meant to be used from close range? I thought there was a way to open that gate. 
Unless it's on the other side. Kind of looks like... Looks like a no. Oh well. No skin off my back, as they say. Oh shit, I just realized there's a turret. And it's not gonna be easy. Of course. Oh wow, that actually, that actually pinged him. That was a lucky shot in my opinion. I mean, yeah, sure, it's a sniper rifle and, you know, you hit him in a headshot, but usually I never land headshots apparently because I guess I don't have decent stability or whatever. It's all mine. I should change my Iridium to fire. Man. Why was I? Why was I careening to the right? Like I wasn't aiming to the right. Oh well. At least that turret's gone. I hope. I know people. I mean, not people. I know they could literally just jump right back on the turret, but. I'm just going to hope that they don't. Oh, an explosive sniper. Finally, a weapon. Yeah, and hopefully... Uh... As far as I'm aware, there's no such thing as an explosive enemy. Like, I mean, there's enemies that explode, but, like, there's no enemies that are resistant to explosive damage. So it's a nice weapon to have, specifically one for, um, for a high crit weapon. Ah, oh, shit. Can you cooperate with me, Sniper? I really appreciate it. I love this, like, the concept of this sniper rifle. <laughs> I don't know. I just like when you reload it. It reloads like a a revolver. It's just like satisfying. I don't know. Okay. Cool. No one else. I just like that we got a sniper rifle with explosive rounds. 
would be super helpful. I mean, I'd prefer if I had a weapon like this on my brick, but, you know. You're, you're, you play with the hands you're given. Rather than the hands you want. I thought you were going to continue to move. I have that for me. Ooh, it's roughly the same amount of damage of my uh, sniper rifle. I mean, base damage of my sniper rifle, obviously. But with a better, uh, I mean, the sniper rifle is still better. It does 180 explosive damage, but well, 186. Not including the 200% critical damage, right? Yeah. Not including the 200% critical damage. Sniper rifle is better, but it's, uh, what, 3 times 23? So that's, uh, 69. Hey, winky face. 69 explosive damage per shot. High fire rate. I mean, what's my fire? One at. It's only 30, 30 fire damage. This is better than that. And it's a, it's a white weapon. I know a lot of people knock white weapons, which most of the time they're garbage, but at least in this game, they're they're functional. The other games I find white weapons are usually garbage. This one need to find use for them. Like that. Look, that's literally better than the fire SMG I have right now. Let us proceed to kick some ass and take some names. I've, I've noticed there's a lot of badass enemies. Getting close to Sledge now. Let's see how hard of a curveball they throw us as we get closer. Not really a people person. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now this weapon would be very nice for a brick character. A high fire rate explosive weapon. Way more chances to proc. Especially since like he has a uh, he has an ability where if he gets a kill he increases his his base damage. So it just snowballs. Yes, I'm lost. Can you point me in the direction of Sledge? Be very appreciated. Sorry, my guy. But your buddies are gonzo. Ooh, ding. We're getting close to having our capstone ability. Which I think is... You deal more damage, right? I didn't read it. I should read it. Let's read our capstone ability. 
Uh, using a melee attack while face shift deals additional damage. Yeah, I figured. And then obviously, you could like combo it with like, like this and whatnot. Truth be told, if they didn't announce the fact that they existed, I probably wouldn't come kill them. Because I already cleared out this area. I should use my medkits. I have a bunch of them. Usually I sell them, as I mentioned before, but... Figured. Less dying, right? Imagine how scary that is, like, one minute you see somebody, and next thing you know they disappear, and then an explosion happens literally right next to you, and boom, you're, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to be the whatever bandits on the opposite end of Valilis Wrath. Shit would be scary. Then again, I don't think I would be a bandit in such a... I'm, I'm too reasonable of a person to, and a nice of a person to, like, you know, try to resort to banditry. I mean, some of these people used to be actual workers instead of insane people, but... How, how fast do you think people would actually resort to violence? Not bad. I think the the gray one I got is better though. Pretty sure there's nothing around, right? Nah, it's just the fight, to, fight to sledge. I think we're good. I mean, we got an explosive weapon that deals 69 damage. Man, I, I miss the, um... What's it called? Can't afford that. It's a good thing. I plan on selling a lot of weapons. I'm gonna keep that definitely for now. It's 30 damage. 19. This is 42, this is more. This has a scope, I guess. I mean, whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that. Can I afford the grenade upgrade? Pretty sure I have that. No, I don't. I have everything but the rocket launcher upgrade. Alright, I think we're ready to fight Sledge. Sledge is a close range king, so you kind of want to keep your distance. Thanks for reminding me about the shield. Don't let him touch you. Me, 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 my name, my own, let the tiger. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that the door closed. I guess it makes sense. Unfortunate. Sledge! P.S. You guys aren't friends. Oh. I didn't get to use my melee. I mashed the Q key too hard. He's got a shotgun that is pretty decent.
can't damage me if I'm cloaked, bitch. Okay, okay, okay. Now this is a good shotgun. The problem is it's a shotgun that's a, two, a literally one-shot shotgun, even though it has two bullets, because of this. So it's basically uh, it's basically a uh, like um, the double barrel from Fallout um, Point Lookout, where it just sure it does in fact have two bullets, but in fact shoots both bullets at the same time, essentially. It's the first purple though. It's got some decent melee damage, some decent you know base game damage. I'm gonna keep to the static shot thing though. We got our first I bet you'd like to know what that is. piece. The vault is real. What you are holding is the key that opens it. One part of it, anyway. Nice. We got a piece of the key to the vault. Ah, <laughs> uh, classic. Oh shit, we're back here. This is Commandant Steele of the Atlas Corporation, Crimson Lance P Company, 3rd Starborn Brigade. I have just been informed that you have arrived on Pandora in search of the vault, and within minutes have started killing the locals and causing a disturbance. Yes, these are facts. The Atlas Corporation. It's when? Any Iridian artifacts found here are Atlas property. Possession of such property carries a steel. I invite you to turn yourself in at once to the nearest last outpost and surrender any information or artifacts in your possession. Consider this your one and only warning. 